I met Sonia when Sonia was the first full figure model for Lost Tribe, right? And you might remember that, guys. And it went viral. You had this <laughs> fabulous red costume, right? Yes, it was and great. I was like, wow, good for you. I'm having lunch with three inspiring women, courtesy optometrists today. Let's meet them. Shannon Hutchinson, pilot, artist. Sonja Polony, I say you're a body positive advocate. You're an entrepreneur as well. I am. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and Ayinka Will, media personality, adventure seeker as well. Welcome, ladies. <laughs> Thanks for having us. It's so good to have you. I love how you use your voice to represent full-figured women. And yeah. why do you think that's important that you have to do that? Everyone has to be represented. There's so much uniqueness to every single person that you must feel accepted and loved and celebrated. Yes. So traditionally, women who look like me, it's a bit more difficult. Mm -hmm. So I will put on the brightest of outfits <laughs> and the biggest of hair and just embrace who I am yeah. so that I can encourage others to do the same. But is it is it that you're masking any insecurity or have you overcome no. insecurities? That insecurities are every day. I don't want to say companion, but it's something that you grow yeah. through. I still go through stuff, but I've learned how to get over it. Yeah. I've learned how to push forward and, yeah. and be mindful of it, but not let it kind of hold me down. We've never actually spoken about this. No, so right. how, how have you yeah. pushed through some of those insecurities? Well, for me, one of the most fundamental pivots in my life with, with the people in my life. Right. So particularly, I have an aunt, I was really, really blessed from very young. She would speak life into me mm. and she would speak great things into me. She, I could oh, do the worst and she would be like, oh my God, you're so amazing. I just right. love you. It's and affirmation. It, it's yeah. Powerful women around yeah. you. And to me, that made a significant difference. Yeah. 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 So let me talk with you, Shannon, because you're a pilot. Which is like, wow. A female pilot, right? Huge. That's my favorite thing about it, to be honest. <laughs> and, no. and, you are, and you are what the world would consider a gorgeous pilot. Can, yeah. I, can I say of that? Can we, can we say that? <laughs> we like, a supermodel pilot, right? And you are also an artist, like yes. a visual artist, yeah. which is uh, on the other side of the spectrum. Yeah, yeah. totally. And how did that work out for you? Everything that I've done, I was told as a young woman that yeah. I couldn't or that I shouldn't do. Really? Yeah. You know, I find that surprising. Because the, the narrative that we get mm -hmm. in the world, and we dig in deep here today, yeah. is that, you know, there are certain people who look a certain way, yeah. there's a certain privilege attached yeah. to it, right? right? Yeah. So yeah. if you have certain features, certain skin color, mm -hmm. whatever, you, you sail through life. Uh, I got you. Well... The way that I look is the least interesting thing about me. And the way that I look has nothing to do with the talent and the hard work that it took to become yes. an award-winning artist. Right. And it certainly didn't help me fly a plane right. or, or receive any of the respect that, that comes with being a female pilot. Yes. I, I can acknowledge that, however, it's just not something that has helped me get to any to where I am. Yes. And it is still hard for many of our passengers to believe, or they don't want to believe that I am a pilot, far less I'm their pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, still, and still, still I started I mean, flying. Like, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I get a lot of that, and then I get a lot of the opposite as well. And funny enough, it's from are quite a lot of females. Yeah. Funny enough, yeah. they want a, a man in the cockpit. I don't think they would be inspired like what you were saying. I would really. Yes, yes. I get in flight because. You know it's I mean? very polarizing, yes. actually. Yes. Love it. Right, right. Yeah. So, Ayinka, you're a media personality. You do radio, you do right. television, you're millennial as well, somewhere <laughs> there in between. I you're am. also married, mm -hmm. right? But you've said it before that you're not interested right now, at least, in having children. Right. 
And the stereotype is get married, have children. Mm. We've been told that we should and shouldn't be certain things, and there's no reason that a lot of these things can't uh, exist together, coexist. Mm. There's nothing that makes me less or more of a wife or a woman if I have or don't have kids. Yeah. So it is really a practical space, but I knew that it would help other people that choose to go that way as well. Mm. For me, it just doesn't make sense. With work, my time is three o'clock all the times in the morning, you know, yeah. coming home late at night. My child would know my neighbor better than me. Yeah, but do you so, feel pressured though? Do you feel pressured by family and friends? I ain't cook you, you're married so well, it's well, going to have your end. What's going a, on? A, a, yeah. a little, when I say a little, my mother has expressed wanting me to have a child. And that's particularly because of who I am and yeah. how I am. She would like to see a child raised that way. And that felt great. But she does understand that it's just not practical for me. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, I've also got a very supportive husband who understands that we are a team. And if we are good with not having kids right now, because it's not a no, it's not a, I mean, I'm cute, I want to say hello, me. <laughs> but yeah. if it is that we, it happens, you know, we'll adjust our lives, yeah. but it would be an adjustment. I do want to mention that you talk talked about body positivity yes. with Sonia specifically yes. and we're definitely not in the same size range but that inspires me because as you earlier really? said insecurities is something we all have yeah. tell me yes. Inka yeah. I yeah. tell me no. <laughs> tell me what listen yeah. you can eat everything on this table yeah <laughs> right the grass is always greener because when you go to get clothes and they don't fit right because they're too what? big yeah. you have those yeah. I know right it's not unreal and the thing is Sonia was one of those persons who, and I can't remember how we first met each other, but one of the things that stood out was how she carries herself, right. regardless of size. And I thought to myself, you know what? I might be low, but I can do that too, you know? And it's, it's especially when you have persons who will tell you, if I say I lose 10 pounds, I'm not allowed to talk about that because everybody wants to be my size. Yeah. It's nice to be reassured that regardless, carry yourself with that dignity, with that body positivity, yeah. celebrate yourself, as you Correct. said before. That's what I take, regardless of size. So we have some inspirational women on the top. Now, let's and let's, on the let's bring team. that into the whole conversation about beauty and what defines beauty, because you took it there, right? Okay. Yeah. And women feel pressured. You know, you have all these images coming at you on the screen. What defines beauty? And, and we in the media right. sort of put it out there, yeah. right? As to what is beautiful. Right. And do you feel pressured in any way? I always say there's so much to do in life. And life itself could bring its own burdens and its own set of stuff. Right. Yeah. That the least thing you should worry about is how you mm -hmm. look. Yeah. yeah, it does. But that's so easy to, to say. You know what people are going to say? You guys could say that. You're all sitting there looking all fabulous. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. And you know what they're going to say? Yeah, so why would they didn't come on the TV or on social media without makeup? I have. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, you do exactly. that. Well, yeah. I am on social media without makeup. But, but, I, but once, we, once I come off the lights, I take off hair. Right. I take it's off the right. hair, you know. There's a conversation of the natural versus the unnatural. Or the persons who prefer to be a more natural face as those who, who right. prefer to go a full, full glam. face. Lashes. And there seems to be a division where it's a, you're supposed to be one or, or the, the other. other. Yeah. And you're supposed oh. to pick a side. I am both. Yeah. Yeah. I am this one. When I have to be, Thank you. and I am exactly. not this one I don't have to be. Exactly. 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 And if I'm wondering you alone, yeah. it's sweats and a yeah. hat. Yeah. So I'm let's then bring it into confidence and mm. esteem, mm. you know, topics that I think we need to speak to. So many women out there grappling with issues of self-confidence mm. and self-esteem and masking it in, in different ways, going out to work, mm. and people have no clue, no idea. But, the, you know. the interesting thing about self-esteem, and, and it's wonderful that it starts with the word self, mm -hmm. that the only, to me, the only way that this external could shine brightly is if you have spent time investing in the internal. Reach. So I always believe that people who... You, you engage in different things. You try different things. You do different things. You build your confidence yeah. more because you understand you are not one level. Right? Yeah. That you're dynamic and you're creative and you're fun. And your, your character begins to develop. So you're not dependent on your external features right. to determine how confident or, or not you are. That your confidence comes from a deeper internal acceptance of who you are and not what you look like. And I think only when you accept the who you are, then you feel even more 
compelled to shine right. with be what you look like because you're, you're less concerned with what somebody would see because you know you know with inside I am more than well, I am great you can't expect someone else to accept you for who you are if Correct. you haven't accepted exactly. yourself so there's a lot to be said for, exactly. for true self-confidence and not perceived self-confidence yes. either yeah. and, and you perceive it's easy to do so it is yeah. how now in 2021 you think females are seen Dynamic. I really do think that we're in a better space than we were two, three years ago at the very least. Because here we have these shining examples of women in leadership roles and women who I particularly like seeing you behind the scenes when they try to mansplain technical terms to you and you say, yes, but I know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> You've seen that. I have. But the fact that because I like we that need mansplain. I'm, thing, gonna, I'm thing. taking that. Yeah, I know. I know. It happens, and I'm sure you encounter it too in those oh, yeah, dominated yeah. fields. Sure. Yeah. It's really important, I think, for us to show that we can be the ones who get glam and we can be sweet and love the chivalry and have a man do nice things for us, yes. but we can do it ourselves and more so. I think the dynamic part of a woman. But sometimes I don't want to do it dynamic. myself. Correct. And that's sometimes fine. I want that's the chivalry. The dynamics. We have the choice. You know, I want to be spoiled. Yes. Don't you want to be spoiled? I'm not that's, saying no. And that somebody tried to shame me the other day for wanting to be treated like a lady. And I said, no, I would like to be treated like a lady because I am a lady, but I don't want to be treated like I can't do something. That's yeah. it. That's the difference. That's it. Correct. How do you think women are seen? I've, I think we are more seen now. Yeah. I think we're more seen for who we are and our capabilities and our voices are more heard. Um, yeah, I think I think the, the woman that exists today has more opportunities to be that strong, powerful woman if she so chooses. Yep. Mm -hmm. If she doesn't choose, that's perfectly fine. So you think it's a matter of choice, personal of choice, course. empowerment, self empowerment. Of course. Okay. I think women today, we are more seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What about you? How do you think women are seen? We are seen. Yeah. But that doesn't mean we are accepted. Correct. And... You know, I believe that women have all of the opportunity now in 2021, but it also doesn't mean that we have all of the support. Right. And I think that that's the difference. So we are definitely being seen, which is wonderful, and dialogues are changing, but the support needs to come up there mm -hmm. with the opportunity. Yeah. Totally agree. What I'm going wrong this way yeah. this time. Yeah, 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 yeah. What is your vision for women for the future? I think equality, but genuine equality, not ever being in a position to be shamed for not having a child like you or I were, or for not fitting into this cookie cutter shape of what a woman is supposed to look like, or into this role that a woman is supposed to take. Because we, we are, the equality exists out there in, again, in terms of opportunity, but not in the way we are treated. Yeah. What about you, Sonia? What's your vision for women for the future? Safety. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Tell me. I, I envision a safe world that a woman can walk down the road, dressed however she chooses, mm -hmm. and get to her destination safely. That she isn't compelled to walk around with a weapon in order to protect herself that women would not be seen. We, we are seen as great things in many spheres, and I think our power is acknowledged, but somehow there's the, we are still seen as objects. And I, my vision for the future is that we shed, that society sheds that, that concept and that we are just safe. How, how empowered can we really be if we don't if feel safe? Yeah. Yeah. Ainka, what's your vision for women in the future? Whoever and whatever she wants to yeah. be. Oh, <laughs> because from my own personal experience, I am learning about myself and I am changing with the rest of the world. So I'm not going to set myself in any sort of parameter because I am a dynamic woman yes. who can change and adapt or change and grow. However it happens, it happens, but I'm just willing to embrace this and I hope we all are eventually the same, willing to accept whoever or whatever she may become. Question, you said about women not being objectified. Who objectifies women? Let me put that on the table. Sometimes it's women. <laughs> because of the society that we yeah. were raised in. Sometimes yeah. it's women telling other women who mm -hmm. we should or shouldn't be or yeah. how we should or shouldn't look. 
I can totally agree with that yeah. because, and, and again, I don't fault the woman of yesteryear, the aunts, the mummies, the grannies, who were told they needed a man to secure their lives or yeah. in some way or shape or form yeah. had to do certain things to get to certain places. Yeah. The difference is that now we may not have those same sorts of walls in front of yeah, us. Yeah. So because I agree you, with you, you don't have but then that comments. extends to society as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah, and I find that the younger women today tend to be presenting themselves in this way yeah, but on that's, social but media. But I think that's not just Trinidad and Tobago. That's no, of course, it's not right? true. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, see, we are sitting at the table here, mm. accomplished in our own right. These young girls are literally seeing people who are accomplished because of what they've posted on social media. But not the half naked, They're, though. I no, I'm not speaking about the half naked ones per se, but there is an entire generation of people or movements of people who are making money off of social media influencing. Right. So there is yeah. a there is a yeah. need for distinction between what they would have done to get to that point mm -hmm. and then the ones who just show skin. Because that is going to be a little confusing to a person who has no idea that there are jobs out there and that you don't need to be on social media at all for to get big paychecks, I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of discussions that would need to be had, I think, in bridging certain gaps. Yeah. And specifically when it comes to females, that's particularly difficult because we come from a society where a lot of things are just not spoken about to yeah. females. Yeah. The conversations that men are exposed to are like, completely different. For example? like doing physically demanding things. I remember my grandmother, bless her heart, loved me with her whole soul and asked me to stop playing football because she thought I'd hurt myself. The did things you stop? That we, I did because she was very worrisome and I was pretty bad at it, but that's the point. <laughs> <laughs> the point is that these are things that you wouldn't tell a boy child. You'd yeah. probably tell them, go and be a pilot. And those oh, conversa yeah. conversations are still very real to some 16-year-olds. Yeah. Yeah. Let's start with you, Ayinka, oh, and me. <laughs> oh, wait, around the table. <laughs> How do you want the world to see you, Ayinka? Hmm. With clear perspective. And I say this because individuals change, grow, learn, even just change their opinions or perspectives. So I really hope that they see me with room to grow, change, and change my perspective. Sonia, how do you want the world to see you? So I think I like my sense of humor the most about me. Mm -hmm. So the authentic me, the, yeah. the real me, or at least I would like to have the space in the world that I could be that person. Shannon, how would you like the world to see you? Without judgment. I have never fit any type of mold that has been presented to me that I was supposed to fit into, and chances are I never will. Yeah. Uh, I think... I've turned out to be a pretty incredible woman, not conforming to this, you know, mold that I was presented with when I was much younger. And so I, I want the world to, to look at me and to really see me without judgment and yeah. with an open mind and an open heart. Because yeah. I, I, what I like to tell young women all the time is that you cannot only be anything you want to be, but everything, everything you want yes. to be. Look at us with the to end all of this, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shannon, Sonia, and Ayinka for being my guests Thank here. Thank you, Lisa. Good to see optometrists today. Let's eat, guys. <laughs> <laughs>